Welcome to Virtual Cell Tutorials. Go to vcell.org to download the software. We are using version 6.1 of the Virtual Cell software. In this tutorial, we continue to build the biomodel of RAN nuclear transport created in the multi-app tutorial part one, using the physiology now to create additional applications, including a compartmental application with parameter estimation. If you have not yet done so, you may wish to go back to part one of the tutorial in which we develop uh, the biomodel of RAN nuclear transport and then create a spatial deterministic application using a 3D geometry that is derived from an image stack. This tutorial will first create a compartmental stochastic application and export the data from that application. We will then create a compartmental deterministic or ODE application and use the previously exported data to demonstrate parameter estimation using the COPASI tools within Virtual Cell. Finally, we will create a stochastic spatial application of the biomodel. To reopen a model, such as the model you saved in part one of this tutorial, go to the database window in the lower left corner, select My Biomodels, and then navigate to the correct folder double-click to open the model. To create a new application from our existing biomodel, we can simply copy the original application that we developed in the part one of the tutorial. Select Applications, right-click and select Copy As, in this case non-spatial stochastic, to create a non-spatial stochastic application. Right-click on the application in the um, navigational tree in the upper left panel in order to rename the new application. We'll use the name non-spatial stochastic for this application. You must press enter after you type the new name for the application. Because this is a non-spatial application, each structure in the physiology is mapped as a compartment. The sizes of the compartments are taken from the original image-based geometry from which the application was copied that is, the spatial deterministic application that we created in part one of this tutorial. All of the other specifications will have been copied from the previous application, so all we need to do is to create new simulations. From either the navigational tree in the upper left window pane, or from the tabs at the top of the main workspace, select Simulations, and then click on the New Simulations icon. To edit the simulation specific parameters, click on the Edit Simulation icon. A window appears with a number of dialog boxes. First, select the Solver tab to select the solver, in this case the default Gibson method, and also to set different parameters for the simulation. We'll choose an end time of 15 seconds and an output interval of 0.5 seconds. Click OK. Our simulation is now ready to run. To start the simulation, click the green button at the top of the main win workspace. If you prefer, you can use the blue button to do a quick run that will use your own local um, resources to perform the simulation and does not save the data or the model to the database. The running status will describe how far along the simulation has progressed. You can view the simulation results as soon as results are available. Simply click the simulation results icon. A window appears with a list of species on the left side of the window and a graph of uh, species concentration versus time on the right. To view a spreadsheet instead of a graph, click the spreadsheet icon. To copy all the values in the spreadsheet, right click on any cell and select copy all. We will use these values later to do a parameter estimation, so let's copy them to a spreadsheet. Paste the values into a spreadsheet like, such as a cell using Ctrl-V. We will use the spreadsheet later in the tutorial, so save it somewhere handy. Next, we will move to creating a non-spatial deterministic application. It is an application based on ordinary differential equations, or ODEs. Right-click on the spatial deterministic application we created in the uh, navigational tree. Then select Copy as Non-Spatial Deterministic. This will create a uh, deterministic application 
based on the previous application. Right-click on the new application name to rename it. When you are finished renaming, you must press Enter to uh, accept the new name. Because this application was created as a copy of a spatial um, application, vCell automatically uh, calculated the sizes for compartments based on the image-based geometry that was used in the application it was copied from. So those values are all set. We'll use this application to demonstrate how to use the parameter estimation tools in vCell. These tools are based on the methods that were created for the Kapasi software. Select the parameter estimation tab in the main window then select the plus sign to add a new parameter estimation job. These tools are based on the methods that were created for the Kapasi software. Select the parameter estimation tab in the main window, then select the plus sign to add a new parameter estimation job. A window appears containing a list of all the parameters. Select the parameter you wish, wish to estimate and then select OK. Continue adding parameters until you've selected all the parameters you choose to estimate. Next, we need to bring in the data that we will use to fit the parameters. Select the Experimental Data Import tab. Then select the Import from CSV file button at the bottom of the window. Navigate to the file containing the Excel data that we just saved from the previous application and select Open. Now we need to map the experimental data to a particular variable in your model. Select the Experimental Data Mapping tab at the top of the window, then select one of the variables and select Map Experimental Data. A window appears with all of the variables represented in your model. Select the one that is represented by the data in your spreadsheet and select OK. Now that we've mapped the experimental data, we are ready to estimate a parameter. Select the Run Task tab at the top of the window. You can use a variety of different methods for um, performing the parameter estimation. Here we use the default evolutionary programming method. Then hit the Solve by Kapasi button to start the estimation. Parameter values that provide a best fit to the experimental data are presented in the solution box. To plot the data, select the Plot tab at the bottom of the solution window. This brings up a plot showing variables um, from a simulation with the best fit estimated parameters and the experimental data so you can compare how well the parameter estimation does. Close the window when you are done. Now let's create another type of application of our model of uh, RAN nuclear transport. Let's create a spatial stochastic application. Select the spatial deterministic application with a right click, then copy as spatial stochastic. Right click on the new application to rename it. Remember to press Enter after you've typed in the new name. Again, there's no need to edit any of the physiology. The physiology remains unchanged for the different applications. But we do need to edit the specifications because now we are working with molecules instead of concentrations. In the main workspace, select the Specifications tab and then click the box that says Number of Particles. Based on the geometry, included as part of the application, vCell calculates the total number of particles for each of the species uh, based on the original concentrations. You can edit the number of particles as initial conditions for any of the, any of the uh, species. In this case, we'll select the RAN-C nuke species and enter 1,000 for the number of particles. That's all we need to do to run the simulation, so let's go to the Simulation tab and then click on the uh, New Simulation icon. Now select the Edit Simulation icon to set up the simulation-specific parameters. 
The Edit Simulation window appears. Select first the Mesh tab, and then enter in the appropriate values for the computational mesh size. In this case, we'll check the box that says Lock Aspect Ratio, and use values of 101, 101 in X and Y, and 27 in Z. Move to the Solver tab. The integrator will be the Smolden Spatial Stochastic Simulator. And all we need to set are the end times for the simulation, that is 15 seconds, and the output interval uh, to save the data, and that will be 0.5 seconds. Then select OK. To save the model to the database and to run a simulation using the vCell Compute Resources, select the green arrow. As soon as results are reported in the running status box, you can select the results icon to view the results. Step through the Z sections of the results window using the slider in the bottom right of the results viewer box. Change the time frame for the results being viewed either by using the slider to advance the time or by typing a specific time value in the box. This completes the tutorial for multiple applications. We suggest that you um, try one of the other tutorials or go to vCell and start building a model.